What are, you, what are your thoughts? Uh, like anything in the world, right? There's the positives, there's the negatives. Yeah, he's bringing the eyes to the sport. The one thing I do condone him for is that uh, uh, I like his whole aspect on creating a fighters union. I actually, uh, I actually can't argue against that. I think that's a great idea in fighters health care that you can pay into. Uh, hopefully he lives up to it and does it. But if he does it, and you can't complain about that. Any fighter that complains about that don't have respect for the sport, I think, because I think what's what boxing lacks when it comes to hockey, basketball and stuff is they have a union that'll back them up when there's injuries, etc. cetera. But, uh, and the one thing I don't mind about him is, you know what he does, he is a bit of a clown, this, that, this, that, but you know what? The guy clearly trains hard. When I was in Vegas just recently, I was actually, uh, talking to some people that are involved in his camps and stuff like that. And they said, you can't knock his hustle. They said he trains harder than most of the world champions. So no matter who you are, no matter what your attitude is, if you if you take the sport serious and train like that, you can't uh, – you have to give the respect in that aspect. But, yeah, like he's got a shtick, right, and who he's fighting. It, at the end of the day, like him or not, what he's doing is smart. He's making millions in his pocket to fight famous people. You know what I mean? People can say what they want. He's selling the fights. He knows he's not going to fight in a world, world-class fighter. And uh, 10 out of 10 people, if you ask me right now to get paid $10 million to fight Anderson Silva, I'm going to do it. If you say right. you wouldn't do it, you're a liar. You know what I mean? And uh, so originally, I really didn't like his persona and what he was about. But uh, lately, it's like if when you all antics and, and uh, uh, how do I say, showmanship aside – I I don't think it's bad necessarily for the sport. You know what I mean? I think some of the stuff he says I don't agree with, but, A, there's not a lot of people that are fighting for a fighter's union and higher pay grade and uh, stuff like that. So you can't – and he is taking it serious. Like you, like what I said was I was talking to people involved in his camp. He's training three times a day. He's got – apparently he's really clean. He takes that aspect of the – he's sparring serious people and – so you know what? Uh, it sounds like he takes the sport a lot more serious than people who have been involved in it their whole life. You know, just because you sign a paper and say he's a lot more professional than a lot of the professionals, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So, yeah, some of the stuff he says, it's a stick. I think it's just to draw attention. And uh, I don't see no difference between him and a guy like Conor McGregor, to be honest. And uh, I think he's a lot selfless than Conor McGregor, for instance. When his last fight got canceled, he still paid everybody their full purses. 10 out of 10 promoters aren't doing that. You know what I mean? The show got canceled and the fighters still got their purses. So I think I think a lot of what he does is for show and to draw attention. I think deep down, I think he's pretty good for the sport when it comes to what, what he's actually trying to do. 